Hey there guys, Lockie here with Noisegate. Today we're looking at the Korg Keystage. It's a brand new poly aftertouch MIDI keyboard that boasts MIDI 2.0. And we're gonna take a look at a few of the features that make it uh, much more than just a simple MIDI controller. Um, so let's jump right in. So uh, I've got the Keystage 49 in front of me. It also comes in 61 uh, and it boasts a really nice responsive polyphonic aftertouch keyboard that's been uh, designed just for the key stage. Uh, and as you can see, I'm actually taking audio out of the key stage. This is because it has a built-in audio interface. So I'm actually sending uh, audio from Ableton straight to the key stage out, which is a really handy feature that you don't actually see on a lot of MIDI controllers. It's got built-in arpeggiator. It's got a, a chord mode, which we'll take a look at a bit, like, bit later. Uh, and it's also got a live transport integration for official live integration with Ableton Live. Uh, and then over here, we've got these uh, eight really high quality OLED screens for uh, parameter mapping and parameter tweaking, which we'll also cover a little bit later as well. Now, Korg's boasting that this is the first completely MIDI 2.0 uh, MIDI controller keyboard. Now, what is that? We're not gonna get bogged down too much in what exactly MIDI 2.0. All we need to know with Keystage is that it employs MIDI 2.0 property exchange, which basically means that instead of just sending MIDI messages, this will talk to Ableton and exchange things like uh, parameter names, uh, MIDI CC messages, and use that information to auto map anything, any Ableton Live device that I have loaded up to these high quality OLED screens for you to automatically receive feedback on from the MIDI controller. So as you can see, there's a lot of future potential here with MIDI 2.0 and it really uh, elevates the key stage into new MIDI controller territory. So here's how I'm using it right now. I've got a project loaded up in Ableton with some Ableton devices that I'm using. So if I actually go in and I actually click on, for instance, this brass pad that I have loaded up, you'll see across here that I've got all the major parameters auto-mapped straight here. So we've got filter frequency, filter resonance, uh, coarseness, and fine tuning. But if I just simply uh, select the EQ on the same track, they automatically change to the first eight parameters in that Ableton device instantaneously. For instance, then if I take uh, advantage of the door track functions in uh, key stage, so I should press shift and I select a different track, it automatically changes to that device, that track's Ableton device and those parameters are auto mapped straight to the key stage without me having to go in and map them all myself, have spending another five minutes, you know, twiddling around deciding which one's gonna be where. It's just instantaneous and right at my fingertips. Uh, so this is an official live integration with Korg. Uh, it's got all the usual suspects in the transport. We've got stop, record, play, loop, and tempo. So everything you need to instantly control your transport in live and get recording straight away. But there are some really unique features in the arpeggiator and chord section, which are inbuilt into the key stage that we're gonna have a quick look at right now. So if we dive into the arpeggiator section, we press up here. Uh, let's jump into the settings. We've got everything that arpeggiator usually has, you know, mode, uh, octaves, I can go up to four octaves. Um, I've got the latch on, but what I can do is I can actually start to uh, ratchet, for instance. So if I hold that note down again, it just ratchets that step and gives me a sort of like ratcheting effect, which is really effective. Um, if I increase this, put a bit of swing on, I can actually change the pattern so that it doesn't just play every step, but it actually generates different rhythms through that arpeggiator pattern. So if I turn that down, here's the pattern just on its own. And then if I select a different pattern, it actually generates different rhythms that can become more interesting and generative. And there's up to, we've got 20 patterns to select from, so a lot of stuff to sort of play around with, with different rates, uh, more swing, and that ratcheting control gives us uh, a pretty unique arpeggiator that's built into the key stage. The chord mode isn't just simply being able to play chords from one note like other MIDI controllers. What it allows you to do is actually assign different uh, chords to each of the 12 chromatic uh, notes on the keyboard, allowing you to store your different chord progressions and record and play through them instantaneously. For instance, if we turn on the chord mode, I've uh, inputted my chord progression from this project 
onto this user pattern so I can just play the chord progression without having to fiddle around with all the notes at one time. Uh, for instance, So I've had this for a few days now and I've really come to like it. The workflow is uh, really immediate and as you can see the integration with Live, Live is really seamless. Um, I'm, I'm really able to sort of get tracks started really quickly with all the device parameters at my fingertips. And it's got really handy little features like this uh, stand here that comes with it. You can sort of just lock it in at the back here like that and rest an iOS device if that's what you're using. And on a larger model, you can actually rest your computer to the side here, which is really handy for elevating the device and being able to reach it a bit more quicker. So yeah, I think this is gonna be really good for players who are after a really high quality MIDI controller that has a lot of features, but is also portable and easy to take around with you. The inbuilt in in interface is really handy. You don't have to carry a desktop audio interface with you in your backpack. You can just take your MIDI controller keyboard and the polyphonic aftertouch is something that's uh, slowly being more adopted and is, this is a really good feeling one. Thanks to Korg for sending one out to us to review. I'm going to leave you with a track I created using the Key Stage and Ableton. See you next time.